after your governor's meeting later, mm. I thought I might take to that fancy bistro in Otten tonight. It's got a great menu. Hey. You're hoping to nick some new recipes? Well, if we can mix business with pleasure, even better. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'd love to come then. Maybe you could babysit April for us. <clears throat> for the usual fee. <laughs> right, OK, so, from what I've heard, you're looking to volunteer now, so I thought you might be able to give us a little freebie, considering I might have an offer for you. OK, so you want to get into coaching, and we need someone to help the PE teacher train the school hockey team. Mm, OK, sounds like my street. I'm not sure I want to be working with my mum, now. Are you sure this isn't a sneaky way of getting me back into teaching? Scout's on her. Would it help if I mentioned that it's paid? <laughs> yeah. Sounding better all the time. <laughs> Hi. Me and Priya have nearly got things up today. In fact, we'll be in the Woolpack later if you want to go over it all. Uh, I don't think that's a good idea, do you? Oh, sorry, tactless of me. Uh, we can do it when you're back at home farm. Hey, here you're off out with Marlon tonight. In upmarket bistro, apparently. Mm -hmm. Glad he's giving you the best. Well, you know what? If he ever gets lax, the rest of us dingles will keep him in line. Oh, yeah. Right, come on, what are you having? I brought you in for a lunchtime thank you drink. I had to pretty much drag her here. No, seriously, let me. The job really doesn't pay that well. Oh, you're just down about your, your thingy meat and the governor's, wasn't it? Oh, no, one of them days. I've given Victoria the menus for tonight, so we're ready to go. Whenever you finished at work? Yeah, I've got to go. I can't. I've got to get back to school. 